Hey guys, so as I mentioned in a couple of videos back, this is going to be my updated hair care video. Um, I have a video about how I blow dry and style my hair and the products that I was using back then, which I filmed a couple months ago, and I was really only using shampoo and conditioner, which really I haven't expanded my hair care products that much. There's a couple new products that I've incorporated in my routine that I want to share with you, but it's still, I feel like, a pretty mild routine compared to a lot of these videos that I watch where people just have like endless amounts of products they use in their hair. I'm just not a product junkie when it comes to hair products. Um, I don't like to weigh my hair down. I don't wash it every day. I wash it every other. Sometimes I stretch it and go every two days. So the less products I use, the less prone it is to becoming oily and dirty and where I need to really wash it. So I'm going to go over the products like shampoo and conditioner that I use, some of the other products, and then the styling tools that I use. So I'll start with shampoo and conditioner and I wanted to update you. In that video I was still using the um, Organics shampoo and conditioner and for a while, I w probably for the last six months, I was using the Ever Straight Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shampoo and the uh, Moroccan Argan Oil Conditioner. And these were kind of like the combo products. I get these at the drugstore and I have no complaints. These did wonders for my hair. I know some people have tried these and loved them and for others they're a total fail and they do nothing for their hair. So, you know, with anything, skin, hair, makeup, it, it just all depends on your hair. So the products I show you and use and love aren't always going to be the case for everyone. But with these, I love them. I was using them for so long that I kind of just got bored and wanted to just try something different like we <laughs> most of the time happens. Um, these are still in my shower though because my husband uses both of these products and really likes them. They're sulfate free, they're paraben free, they're great. If you want a cheap alternative to healthier hair care, I would give these a whirl. So, those are what I was using. When I wanted to switch it up, I remembered when I went to Dry Bar in New York City with my friend Colette and we got blowouts. Um, I mentioned, <coughs> excuse me, I mentioned to them that I had a keratin treatment done. try this again. And so I couldn't have any kind of sulfates in my hair. So they used the Moroccan oil on me. And um, ever since then, I just had been thinking about it and in the back of my mind wanting to try these products um, next. So I got these products from a local salon by my house. They are a little bit on the pricey side, around $21 a bottle. I got the, the hydration line, so the hydrating shampoo and hydrating conditioner. And I really, really like these a lot. They're color safe. They're sulfate free, paraben. Um, they are a little bit strong scented, especially the first time you use them. The scent definitely lingered in my hair and I was like kind of deciding if I loved it or hated it. I do like it. It's more, it smells like a masculine cologne type fragrance to me, but not offensive and I really do like it. And it's really good hair care for your, for your hair. So highly, highly recommend this product. Then, no soon after, my friend Lizette, I had shown you in a Sephora haul video, sent me a whole bunch of goodies, and she sent me the Alternia Caviar Anti-Aging um, Replenishing Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. So I immediately stopped using the Moroccan oil because I wanted to try these. Um, everybody that saw that video in the comment section that has tried these products left really positive comments, said that they are expensive but totally worth it. Um, I love the packaging. It's just a twist-up cap for both the shampoo and conditioner. These, again, free of sulfates, um, parabens, sodium chloride, and uh, gluten. Uh, they're replenishing, so nourish and restore dry hair. And I have to tell you, amazing products. I've already repurchased these at Sephora because I had the VIB coupon and I could save 20%, so I already bought backups of both of these. They're $32 a bottle. So when you can save some money, definitely recommend it. But I love these. My hair, honestly, has never felt healthier. It's never felt stronger. Like, I've never, I've never thought of my hair as strong, um, but it's just, I can't describe it. It's just, it feels so restored every time I wash it and it just feels strong. There's no other way for me to describe it. So either of these lines, I highly would suggest and recommend. Um, I'm currently using these, but I, when I run out of these, I'm probably going to use up this and then go back to the backups that I purchased. But love, the best thing about these is they're available at Sephora. These I had to kind of go on a hunt for and 
find local salons that sold the product range. Otherwise, I think I saw them on Amazon.com. Okay, so those are the products that I use in the shower. Once I get out of the shower, I always try to get in the habit of spraying this heat tamer spray from Tresemme. Um, it seems like it's about down to here now. I love the, the spray nozzle and I love the smell of this. It is a nice detangler. I've said it in that other video where I talked about this as far as it protecting my hair. I've never been one to be like obsessed with using a heat protectant. I didn't start using a heat protectant until I bought this bottle, which is probably like a few months ago. Um, so I guess it's good. It's good for that, but I really like it as just kind of like a detangler and like a nice little like extra moisturizer in my hair. So I really like this. Um, but when I run out, I think I might try the Kerastase Nectar Treatment, which I've been hearing a lot of good things about. Um, because it's more of like a cream, might be a little bit more hydrating on my hair, but I do like the spray. I also, so I spray this like from here down. I don't spray this in my scalp, so I spray it from like here down. But then for my scalp, I have been using and loving the Bumble and Bumble Tonic Lotion. I again purchased this at Sephora. I don't remember how much it was. Um, this is specifically made for the scalp. Um, I'll read you what it says on the side of the bottle. It says, for smoothing, grooming, a rich mix of vitamins, herbs, and tea tree oil, tames, tangles, refreshes your head, refreshes your head, feeds your hair, and soothes your scalp. Um, spray on damp or dry hair. Make sure it reaches the scalp. You'll feel it tingle, comb through, and style. So basically, I just spray it up here. And I spray it where I would typically spray dry shampoo. So really on my parts, and I would just lift up certain sections of my hair and spray it and then I kind of massage it into my scalp and it does have like a nice tingly clean sensation it's very soothing on my scalp and I really really like this so I've been loving this and I've had it for a while and as you can see it barely looks like I've used any of it um, you don't need that much because it is just on your scalp but I really like this a lot I'm really excited about this as a finishing spray after I kind of curl or do whatever to my hair, I also picked up the Moroccan Oil um, Finishing Spray in Medium Hold. There's a stronger hold, but I don't like the real tough, strong hold. I prefer the medium. This smells glorious, and I love it because it doesn't build up in your hair. A lot of hairsprays I've tried in the past create a lot of buildup, and then it just gets gunky, and I feel like after that first time using it, you can't reuse it the next day. Not the case with this one. So after I've finished styling my hair, whether I have it in full-on curls or just like I do now, I spray it with a finishing spray. And it just kind of sets everything. But it doesn't make it crispy, crunchy, sticky, like stiff. It's still very movable, manageable, um, and still really, really soft. So I love this. Again, $21. Got this at my local salon. Definitely worth it. It's a huge bottle, so it will last me a while. It's actually 10 ounces. Okay, and then lastly, as far as products go, I wanted to give you guys an update on this product that I purchased a little while ago from Fido. It's the anti-dandruff treatment shampoo. Um, it smells horrendous. I hate the smell, but I don't, it's not like a dreaded smell. Like, it's bearable, and it doesn't stay in your hair once it's dry. It's just for that moment when you're washing it. Basically, you use this, create a lather, rinse it out, then you do it again and it kind of foams and lathers even more and you let it set in your hair for like three to four minutes and then you wash it out. And you're not supposed to use this as a regular shampoo, you're really only supposed to use it a couple times a week. And I will say I noticed immediate results with this. I think I've only used this three times, like three separate uses. My little like flakes that I was having, I never suffered from like full on dandruff, itchy scalp. I just would have like little white flakes here and there. It's completely gone and I noticed it minimized after the first use. So whenever I have like build up or I start to notice white flakes again, I would use this. But literally, um, it is a pretty small bottle. It is 3.3 fluid ounces. I only used it three times and it's completely cured my hair. So thanks to TT Sandra, because I would have never heard about this product or thought to try it. Amazing. If you suffer from flakes, dandruff, itchy scalp, irritated, I would definitely give this a try. It's expensive, but it works, so I would recommend it. Okay, as far as tools go, I love these little lobster clips. That's what I call them. Claw clips. I don't know. Um, I forget where I got these from, but I think maybe like Sally's probably has them. These are what I use to separate my hair when I'm styling it, or if I'm just like 
you know, don't want to fuss with my hair, I use these all the time to clip it up. And I've worn, it's funny, I've used these in a couple of videos where I just would like have it twisted up and people are like wanting a hair tutorial. It's so simple. I literally will just like take it, twist it, and then like clip it. And that is it. And my hair stays out of my face. So I love them. I can't remember where I got these from, but they're great. When my hair is wet, I either use the wide tooth comb, I opt for the tangle teaser, which I need to clean out. Um, the tangle teaser, I bought this from Sally Beauty. I have since seen them at CVS, and that's just what it does. It really gets all the tangles out of your hair. You never want to take like a full-on hairbrush when your hair is wet because that's when it's at its most fragile, brittle state. So um, I love this. My hair doesn't typically tangle. I don't have problems with it tangling, but just to kind of get it nice and even I take this in the shower with me sometimes to help distribute the conditioner throughout my hair it combs through your hair so easily um, if I do come across a knot or something like that that's when I reach for my wide tooth comb and just kind of work with it and again you can get these anywhere Sally's anywhere I am still using and loving the T3 lightweight featherweight hair dryer love it love this little nozzle um, it dries my hair in half the time. It's extremely lightweight, so it, I'm not getting a crazy workout with my arms, and I think the vacuum's on downstairs. Um, I really, really like this. It's a great, great investment. Now, it's for curling my hair, which is pretty much what I've been getting into the habit of doing every single time I blow dry it. Um, I should go back a second. I'm whipping through this video. When I style my hair, I comb it out, I put the products in it, and then I just blow dry and I like kind of finger through it. I do not use a round brush anymore um, just because I use my curling irons. So I feel like they really smooth and tame my hair so I don't really need the round brush and I don't really like the sleek blown out hair like I used to. So I basically just get all the moisture and wet out of my hair. I use this, get it completely dry and then that's when I decide which curling iron I want to use. Both of the ones that I have are from Hot Tools, both of which I've had for years. I bought these from the salon that I worked at. Um, this one is the one inch, so on days that I want like curls, like curls, um, like baloney curls or something like that, I will use this. I always curl away from my face. So for the smaller, you know, tighter curls, I use the one inch. If I want just like bigger curls or like more volume in my hair, I go for this big daddy, which is I think the one and three quarter inch and again curling away from my hair. Now I don't use these every single day. I only use them after I blow dry my hair. So like yesterday I curled with this one and you can see like it's not curled anymore but it's still kind of like PC, a little bit flipped in and out and just different and this is I slept on this and this is how it looks. So I just kind of use those as my finisher instead of using a round brush. So I think that is everything. Those are all the products and tools that I use. And just really quick, I just want to touch on a couple people noticed in my last video that I did get my hair cut. Um, and I forgot to totally, totally forgot to mention it in that video. Um, I did get my hair cut. Nothing too drastic. Just I got a lot of layers. I went to somebody brand new that had never touched my hair before. And just to get like new perspective. And um, he gave me really nice long layers. He did shorten around my face. As you can see, this is the shortest piece. Um, so feathered around my face, I kind of switch my parts all the time. I think that drives some people crazy that my part is never straight in my videos, but personally, I don't really care. It's just, it's just how I like to wear my hair. I don't like it to look perfect. Um, so he did angle around my face. Like if I wanted to do a middle part, I could do that and show you. It's kind of angled around my face like that, and then. All throughout the back he just created some shorter layers up here but I would still consider them long layers and the length is still the same he didn't take any he did take like trim off the dead ends but he didn't really take any drastic length off of my hair if you are wondering like what I did to my hair or if you want something similar it's really just long layers I didn't show him a picture or anything I just literally like met him for the first time and was like do whatever you think I need and he did, and I absolutely love it. And I will say having shorter layers dries my hair even faster than it did before. And it just is so much easier. And it's so fun now to curl, like especially with the big fat curling iron, because I don't get curls out of the short pieces. I just kind of get like body. And I love it. So that is it. I hope that 
you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I'm sorry if I was rushing through. We have a house full of people coming tonight for dinner, so I wanted to get this video up and filmed before they get here. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!